Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Living in the Red Dot. This is me from Singapore. Today, as you can see, I'm barefaced and I am having a bit of a hormonal breakout. Um, but um, I decided to film this video today because I wanted to share with you um, two makeup tools that I found when I visited Korea early this summer. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Korean um, K-beauty uh, skincare and I've been really into them since I think late last year and uh, when I went to Korea earlier uh, this June I just bought a ton of skincare products and um, some makeup products and I've been using them very diligently. So uh, what I wanted to talk about today is this makeup tool called the Makeup Spatula. Um, the, the brand that became viral is called Picasso. Um, so this, this is uh, how, it, how I bought it. Um, it has a, like a case, it's not really leather, it says Picasso right there. And this is how the spatula like, looks like. So it looks like a butter knife. Um, this there, Picasso right there. So I really like using this tool because it allows me to spread uh, the foundation really, really thinly. And then I pat it uh, on with a beauty blender, but I actually prefer um, this cushions. You can get bigger ones or bigger ones, um, circular ones come with uh, cushion foundations like the Laneige ones that you can get in uh, Sephora. But here in Asia, you can get this kind of uh, cushions like everywhere. Um, it, it's really cheap. And I find uh, that they work much better than Beauty Blender. I, they, I don't find that they absorb that much foundation. So let me just quickly show you how I use um, this spatula. So I, I'm really liking this um, IT Cosmetics uh, CC Cream. Uh, it's a full coverage uh, foundation. Uh, I prefer thinner ones, but with the spatula, I can actually spread it thinner so um, this is perfect for me it's a shade medium um, I don't like I can put it on my skin but I don't want to I prefer to use um, a, a palette because I find that when I put it on my on my my skin and then I take the front foundation from there it dries up too quickly because my skin absorbs like some of it so okay I'm wearing glasses today but Anyway, so there's the foundation, and I'll just go ahead and like run it like this. So a thin layer is there, and then I like to just spread it like butter. Okay, so you can spread it more so it'll be like really thin, and you can also add more if you want more coverage in certain areas like that. So after that what I want to do is I come in with this and I just kind of pat it. So this is just to demonstrate to you how I use it and um, how effective it is. See, like it's, it's enough coverage for me. I don't like cakey, cakey makeup. I still want it to look like skin. You still see a bit of the glow like that. But my pimples are not as pronounced, so if you actually have clearer skin than mine, like you're not having breakouts, it looks flawless. So that's one. Um, they have another version that came out. So this is called the two-way spatula. And I got like the package version. So it's like this. 
so this is like the cover this is the spatula and it came with a pouch right here for travel and it also came with uh, sponges this is the sponge um, I used the other one earlier so I'll, I can just wash that and dry it now I actually like this one much better than, than this because I find that I can get to the corners much easier with this spatula because it's smaller the downside is it does take a bit longer because it takes a while to cover you know a larger surface uh, versus this one you can get like, a good swipe but this one you kind of have to go like little little movements um, uh, this is also supposed to be like this side is you can use it for like serums uh, not serums um, creams you know for dipping into your skincare and uh, putting it on for sanitary reasons I don't really um, use that I don't have a lot of skincare products where spatulas are needed and when they do they do come with their own spatula so uh, but this one like I said I like it for applying makeup um, and spreading it like that way now uh, it's good for cushion foundations because actually I think it's made for cushion foundations because they fit really well in that circular container. Now this is the Jungsan Mall. Jungsan Mall, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. I did not get the case for this um, foundation, but this is the Essential Skin Neuter Cushion Medium Deep. Um, it's rare to find deeper tones, but I find that this brand carries the one that fits my skin tone the best and it's also not cakey I like it much better than La Neige um, and um, Hera I find those are a little bit too thick uh, but Hera and Suwasu do have deeper uh, shades in them so if your skin tone is a little bit closer to mine which is probably NC27, NC30 um, then they may have shades for you those brands that I mentioned. So, Jung Sai Mall. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Uh, that. Kind of messy. Huh? So, as you can see, it fit really, really perfectly. If you press like that, you'll get some foundation. Like this. And then that's what I use to spread right here. Really, really, really thin. Okay, let's try covering this pimple here. See, so the, the, the downside for me, like I said, is that it takes a bit longer to spread. But it is quite efficient that you don't use that much foundation. thin layer and just pat it. it's branded doesn't make it like the best I actually found a dupe uh, which only cost about like I don't know, two dollars that I bought online it looks exactly the same it 
there. This is the dupe. Okay, it's a bit dirty, the Picasso one, because I just used it. But I've tried this one and it works similarly as well. So you don't need to get the brand name. Any spatula would do. I've seen some people on TikTok trying like butter knife. I probably wouldn't go that far, but this is nice and cheap. So if you're interested, you know, you can find it like online. Um, if you have a Daiso where you are, you may be able to find something similar. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please press share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.